Alrighty, welcome back everyone. My name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left off last time. Even in our surprise round we get to go last. <laughs> That's just sort of where we're at. Amiri is still giant. Uh, we wandered over... Uh, our spell Dawn's feared, of course. We wandered from over here uh, to here. There was nothing really there except for some fog, which we'll use later. And then we walked up to here to do this fight. Not, not used to lighting enemies. Well, you can't do much of there. Do not fall down. That hurt. Got a hit in. We don't have very many spells left. We're gonna have to rest after this, but uh, for now we're doing okay. Let's just holy aura our group. Canera's gonna try and knock some down. It might not be effective, but we'll see. Uh, we're fighting against two archers and four scouts. Also, we only gathered power because this is a surprise round, quote unquote. Um, I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can get a good prismatic spray going. If I can move to like here and not click on somebody else by accident, which seems to be impossible because Amiri takes up all the space in like a 400 mile radius. I wonder if we can actually get a prismatic spray out into this world without killing our own group members. No, we can't do it right now anyways, but still. Oh good. Okay, that one's attacking the right person at least. Except Knock Knock's taking a beating for some scouts. He's gonna have to retreat. One dead. One dead. Or Smeldon just can stay out of the fight for now. Knockdown needs to run, and he can actually just run, because their scimitar damage is basically worthless. It's all the rest of their damage that really sucks to deal with. Um, we'll just heal with this guy. Try and get Knockdown some life back, and also heal Smeldons and stuff like that a little bit. We're gonna cast this right here. And my dog just scared the shit out of me. I'm gonna move her here where knock knock was this should actually give us a pretty decent prismatic spray area i'm gonna go with right where's the edge of it right there all right what exactly happened during that prismatic spray we polymorphed a scout we did nothing to these ones it looks like everyone made their saving throw except for one person so that was practically worthless Except for that one baleful polymorph, I guess. I die. And Octavia is gonna die. She got immediately shot by an archer for like a hundred and something damage and is now unconscious. Knock knock, just stay back for now. How much damage did Octavia take in one round? 71, 97, 129 damage, and she is unconscious. If we heal her, she might be able to get away without dying, which is our goal for her at the moment, maybe. Uh, we'll just use our AoE again. Uh, no, we won't. Oh, yeah, we will, because we can actually just move it when we need to. I just realized we don't need to, like, wait for it to go away. We can literally move it elsewhere when we want it to be out of the way. She's gonna move back out of range of the archers, hopefully. Luckily, they can't really kill Valerie very well. And the scouts get infinite actions to do whatever they want. And we may not kill that one. There we go. Alright. So, we now need to move our AoE. And our game's lagging a teensy bit. I am looking forward to finishing this one so I can fix my computer. Which will be happening after this. After I finish this game. Uh, we're going to move this out of the way to somewhere over here. 
which I should have cast it in range of something that we were already able to do it on, because now we can't do that. And we're kind of stuck for this turn, not able to do too much, I guess, except fight for that one scout who's in front of us. Apparently they're after Amiri now, which is fine. You want to come after Amiri? Be my guest. Knock Knock can probably get in here again, but Miss Valerie had to move in. Let's keep healing. Our Smilodon's functionally worthless at this point of the game. Against things that don't fear, it's fine, but since 99% of things cause will saves nowadays, it doesn't do anything. We might probably hit that one. We did and killed it. Alright. Now Valerie can get in and attack these guys. And so can Amiri for that matter. I don't think we can charge them though. We can charge this one. Hit it for a bunch. Worthless. I'm going to move Knock Knock right up beside this guy. Even though he's probably going to kill Knock Knock now. But Valerie's going to come in there too. So hopefully the target firing will still be on. Valerie, we'll see. We're not moving our main character in because he will for sure get focus fired and killed. Taste my fury. And we missed that one. This How about you? you? We hit for zero. Everything's going wonderfully. Oh, that one's back to normal. Okay, perfect. Oh, we're missing all of our attacks. Come here, knock, knock. Bastard. Please do something good here. Not bad. Almost killed that one. Come on. One hit. Thank you. Okay. So we just have two left now. One is a fox or wolf or something. Some sort of animal, anyways. And is now dead. And we just have an archer. Who is shooting Amiri to death. Didn't kill her. But Amiri also did not kill it back. We critted, but again, didn't really do all that much. We could probably come in here and shoot it, but it's not going to hit. The chances of it hitting are actually quite low. Burn. That being said, we're almost done this particular group of annoying archers. So hopefully... There we go. Bunch of AOOs finished it off, and we're good. I hate the Wild Hunt. I hate the Wild Hunt Monarchs the most, though. It's going to be such a nightmare to do that fight at the end of the game. There's a whole bunch of fights against a whole bunch of wild hunt squads. We might have to turn down the difficulty at that point. We'll see. Another ring of protection plus five, which are actually kind of useless nowadays, but it's nice to get spells, or to get magical items, I guess. And we've almost cleared this library. Why is everyone moving so... Oh, now everyone's moving really slow. There we go. Sheikah's here. Apparently Sheikah, not Shika. A figure hiding in the library shadows looks somehow blurred, its shape in subtle fleck or flux. You hear laughter coming from under the hood. Oh, it's you. How amusing. We thought you'd be taller. We've met. Not yet. It will happen around yesterday, or was it a month ago? Why are you here? Long ago, one of the eldest prepared a performance for the others. You must know the curse, destroy a thousand kingdoms, fill the cup, and you, Nyrissa, will be forgiven. The Lantern King has always had problems with his sense of proportion. This performance turned out to be overlong, but quite amusing at times. We wouldn't want to miss the finale. A performance? Were these thousands and thousands of broken lives and deaths just entertainment for you? When you've lived as long as I have, child, you'd be surprised how much of what was once exciting will leave you yawning of boredom, and new things come become terribly funny. I'm surprised you talked to me like this. I thought the eldest were equal to gods here in the first world. Sheikah laughs musically, but you've spoken with the eldest many times. Many, 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 many times. I have to go. We will be happy to see you when we meet again yesterday. 
I like the time eldest. He's fun. He, she is fun. I don't know if it has a gender. Oh no. No, there's a... Well, that was an instant kill on Octavia. Super. This is really bad. This situation right here is the worst possible outcome of this <laughs> situation. We need to run. There's no way we can win at this point. We are low on spells to start with. Uh, we have... We just have to run. We have one dead person already. We need to buy more raised dead scrolls, apparently. Alright. This is gonna suck. There are a lot of wild hunt here, including the monarch. And the monarch is the roughest of the wild hunt enemies. We're gonna need a lot of firepower to kill it. And we can get that. That's fine. We can make that happen. We just need to get away from this fight. Or at the very least, draw some of them away to kill them independently, and then kill the rest. But even then, it's not a great fight for us at the moment. I might leave my Smilodon to die. Oh no, they're not coming after us. Okay, good. We just need to get out of the combat now then. Excellent. That works out fine with me. I don't know where our Smilodon is. I told it to move down. Why are we not moving that way? What the? Why? Whatever, it's fine. Go this way then, I don't care. I don't know why we didn't just go straight down that hallway. We have the lantern on. Whatever, it's fine. Let's just get out of the combat, I guess. There's a lot of enemies, a bunch of archers. We can do the fight. It's going to be a tough fight. But we also need to do a bunch of prep work for that fight. Lots of buffs to do. Lots of spells to memorize, and so on. Why are you not moving? Keep moving. Can we not move past the fog in combat? I guess we can't. Hope we can move far enough. This hallway is like as far as we can go. There we go. Alright, we're out of combat. Okie dokie. So yeah, this fight is going to be one we need to get some prep for. And get Octavia back to being alive again. I wasn't expecting a big fight like that so quickly. And where's our raised dead spells? Do we even have any left? Alright. Oh, date. Type. Where's the hand? All right, let's take a look at our spell list, because we're going to need to switch up some spells. I might switch out Octavia. We need someone who cast haste, but that's really all we need. She's okay. Maybe our Gongar would be a better idea. Or maybe just even our two-weapon fighter. Who else has haste? Well, No haste available from her. Although she has spells that keep shifting, which is weird. Anyways, not important. We need someone to cast haste, but that's... Do we have scrolls? We can use scrolls of haste. It's not like... We have 34 scrolls of haste. We also can use... Apparently Amiri has haste still. Oh, because the game doesn't understand respecking, Right. Um, we do have our sword saint who does have haste. And he might be a good choice. I'm going to go play around with my group for a couple of seconds. See if we can't make a little bit of a better group to fight these particular enemies who suck to fight. I'll be back shortly. Alright, we're gonna give Akun a shot. I've geared him up. Hopefully he does okay. We'll find out pretty fast. He does have his dog Okbo, which I don't think is gonna be very useful in all honesty. That said, it's worth an attempt. Uh, he is using a the plus five mirror bow. He's got plus six to strength, so hopefully he'll do some damage with it. Uh, he's a plus five weapon, obviously. Uh, we do have other bows, though, around, or do we? I we had one other one. We have the oversized bow somewhere. Actually, we have a long bow of... Well, this one's 
Oh, it's cold damage. So I said cold iron damage. It's like, ooh, perfect against Fey. Absolutely. He is specialized to fight against the Fey, and he has pretty decent attack bonuses. I'm not using rapid shot because the negative two is bad. Uh, I am using deadly aim, however. We'll see if we need to turn that off as well. He's currently sitting at plus 27, plus 22, plus 17, plus 12. Highly doubt he's going to hit with his later attacks, but we'll see how we can do. We're also going to use freedom of movement scrolls on everyone. We'll use a haste scroll. We're going to use holy aura, all of the spells we can think of, because the wild hunt suck. They're really annoying to kill. If we hit level 19, it won't change very much, honestly. The wild hunter just an annoying group of enemies. Mostly just due to the fact that you have to make these insane will saves. But that's fine. It's going to be just fine. We have our abilities. Hopefully we'll be able to do some stuff. We're also going to use our mutagens, of course. Okay. So, we're going to use that mutagen. I'm listening. These last forever. I should use these more often, actually. Uh, all right. Where now? We need to guess, or we need to, yeah, get some other things going here. So, we'll also use rage this fight. So hopefully, knock knock won't get um, sent into a shame spiral. But for now, what are our longest spells aside from freedom of movement, which I believe is ten minutes per level? We should actually just use all the scrolls. So, we do have these freedom of movement scrolls. We bought. Lots of them. Uh, where are they? They'll be our most common scroll if we can. 101 of them. Uh, Smilodons can't use scrolls, obviously, but all the rest of our characters can. These last for, uh, yeah, 10 minutes per level of the caster. So, the caster level 7, so the last 70 minutes, or effectively two videos worth, or until we rest, anyways. What is Akbo like? Nine will save. So he's going to go running away as soon as literally anything hits his will save. Good times. We have pets. I wonder if we have any other pets. And we have some. We have summons too. We can summon some summons. We only have two of the pets in the game. I really didn't do a lot of pet collection in this game. I really should have done more of it. That's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, we are going to use some more spells, though. So we have all of our people have freedom of movement, which stops them from being paralyzed, which is important. We'll use this, which lasts a minute a level, so 18 minutes worth on that spell. Uh, what else do we have? That lasts for only a minute. Aid is not going to help us too much. Prayer is around a level, right? Yeah. Bless is one minute per level. Let's throw that on. Death Ward... I don't think it's going to help us in this particular fight. Burst of Glory is again one round per level, so it's not super useful. I think Holy Word is a minute per level though. Not one round per level as well. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, not Holy Word, Holy Aura I should say. Uh, bestow Grace of the Champion. Immunity to Fear. Let's give that to... These magics should be used in other ways. Should they? That's only one round per level anyways. Um, Mass Owl's Wisdom. Might as well put Death Ward on, I guess. Only does one person, doesn't it? That ah, doesn't matter then. Um, Fear, where's that one? We've removed Fear. We're not gonna have Haste, which is kind of unfortunate. Actually, we will, we have a scroll of Haste. We'll have a little bit of Haste. Amiri's getting legendary proportioned. And now we're getting into our big buffs, so we need to move up. And we're going to save right here. This is going to be something. Our time has come. We'll see how it goes. And we need to cast our final spells. Uh, stone skin, which we should cast earlier because it lasts forever, but whatever. Uh, and the last one's going to be Burst of Glory. We're going into this fight basically like as a boss fight because it really, it's more of a boss fight than most boss fights in all honesty. Now moving Eltamar into any position where he can actually cast this spell effectively is going to be annoying, but we made it happen. Alright. 
Burst of Glory. Done. We've got everything up and running, I think. And Valerie's gonna start the fight. I don't know why she's at the back of the group. Okay. So the Monarch does summon more enemies, which is super unfortunate. We see we all failed our saving throws against whatever it was, but I think we're immune to whatever the thing was, so I think we're fine. I think it's the Paralyze. It is ultra, ultra important you have freedom of movement against these guys. Luckily Valerie is a tank in every measure of the word. And we're gonna use our big ability right here. And we're gonna move into that room, of course, because it's gonna keep us safe. Knock Knock did get hit, unfortunately. No, okay, fine, whatever. Okay, Ekendea, this is his premier jaunt into this area. Let's shoot the Monarch. Well, he hit once. I'll call that a win. He hit for 52 damage, which is pretty good for one shot. Canera. Ideally, we're not going to be moving too much into this room, except after we take on some of the closer guys. So, back here. Some of them are knocked down. That one's not technically dead. Knock, knock, no! Stop taking damage. Okay, Akbo, I don't know if you're going to be any use in this fight, but you haven't been stopped yet, so let's... Oh my god, he did 67 damage in one hit. Akbo, you're a champion. We just did a ton of... Why are they not... Oh, because they need to be killed properly, because the Monarch's here. I think their inability to be killed is because the Monarch is in the area. Knock, knock. You need to not get shot anymore. You're actually in extremely bad shape here. Can you coup de gras one? Can you coup de gras that one? That one's dead. And then just kind of move it away. No one's in dire need of healing yet, with the exception of Knock Knock, who has taken a fair amount of damage. That one's back up, which is annoying. Okay, Smilodon can probably five foot step in this time. And it's down again, but not dead. Okay, just stop now. Alright, Ekendeo. Monarch. More damage. Missed. Missed. We actually need to move him forward. Actually, we all need to move forward. We're not technically in our aura. But that's fine for now. This is also working wonderfully. Everyone's fallen down. Okay, she needs to be up front, taking hits. And she's now inside of the aura. So Akbo can get in here too, and deal some damage. Did a knockdown, nice. Uh, we're gonna move Amiri up as well, and smack into one of those. That one's shooting at Amiri. They're all shooting at Amiri. Right. Knock, knock. Can we get back into here? And take an AOO, of course, from the. Wild hunt. It's fine. Uh, how are... Actually, everyone's health is pretty good, all things considered. Let's cast some more spells. Don't know what this is gonna do. It's gonna do a bunch of damage, actually, to a bunch of enemies. Fairly decent across the board. 
Why is there that archer so close? We missed. All right, a coon. I need him to keep shooting this. No wait, sorry. To, no coon, stop, 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 stop. No, I wanted to. Having a Miribi giant is actually extremely irritating. Akun, can you move? Move this way. Into the aura. I just want you to move into the aura. That's all I care about. Canera. I need you to move this barrier back a tiny bit. Or this AoE back a tiny bit. Perfect. This is going really well so far. The Monarch is injured. Knock Knock is nearly dead, which is the less good thing. Let's make sure this attack goes off fairly well. I uh, missed the second attack. It's fine. Alright. That one's dead, technically. We need to start... Um, these three are all actually technically dead. We need to... We need to coup de gras them. Also, Miri's taking some hits. Be easier we really need to start coup de grawing some things here. Uh, we're going to cast our first mass heal into this room. Top up our people. Okay, that one's down. Can Smilodons coup de gras these things? Maybe. No. That's worth a shot. Shoot! Are you inside the aura now? It looks like you are. So this should be a lot better of an attack round for him. Decent. He's doing better. I wonder if fire works against these guys. If I were to do like a firewall... It does not. Well, coup de gras time. I think she can coup de gras them. She definitely can coup de gras them. Perfect. Uh, can Aqua coup de gras one? I actually have no idea. Yes. Yes, he can. Perfect. Uh, I was, was going to coup de gras one of them, but I think we're just going to take this monarch down. And that actually killed all of the ones on the ground. Leaving only the ones... Only the one archer remaining? Alright, well, that makes it nice and easy. We're going to delay till after Canera so she can move her thing out of the way. Which means we are going to take more shots, but that's fine. Because nothing hit. I need you to move this somewhere over there. Which clears up the ground, which means we can actually charge, or even just shoot that one. Not bad damage. Go kill him, maybe. Well, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Ekun did fairly well. I don't know if he's going to be a permanent member of our group. Oh, everyone's going to get hit by that extremely hard fire. The thing is, we also had another character that was possible to bring in that does have magic and is quite powerful in combat. It's such a toss-up. I really don't know which way to go on this one. Hmm, I'm gonna go look at the other character between videos since we're actually out of time on this one and then sort of make a decision. Akun's good, don't get me wrong. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. But this other character has haste, and haste is super useful. He's also equal or better than Akun at combat. He is a mercenary though, and I know we said we we're going to play with our pre-made characters, but realistically the one pre-made character I wanted to use throughout the entire game dies, so that's not my fault. Let's go take a look at the other character, but I'll do that between videos. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below, otherwise I'll see you all next time. Take care.